All right, so um, <clears throat> I was a bad YouTuber. I'm sorry, I'm gonna apologize now. Um, I went ahead and put the, uh, the iMac together and tested it because I was just curious to see if I'd actually fix the monitor issue. And unfortunately I didn't. So um, what we're gonna end up doing is uh, we're gonna go ahead with the hard drive replacement because I wanna make sure that I can at least get it up and running. Um, and then uh, in a future video, uh, we'll just do the monitor replacement. So I'm not actually going to adhere the monitor um, to the rest of the computer until I actually get another monitor that's going to work better. Um, but what you can see here is, uh, is what I did. So if you look here, you can see, uh, there we are. You can see it and what I did was I just taped, put tape around the periphery of it. Um, so pretend like we're just going to go in and we're just going to change the hard drive out. So we'll go through the process on that. Um, so the steps on that, we're just going to, we're going to pull the tape off. So let me see if I can get this situated where everybody can see what it is that I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and pull the tape. What you'll do is, normally you would go around here and cut all the adhesive all the way around. But since I've already got the adhesive off, and it's just a matter of pulling this back. Now, before you pull this back, you wanna make sure that you discharge all the power. So you hit the power button on the back a few times. So we'll pull this back just a hair. I'm gonna keep one hand right here, pushing the, pushing the, the top back, and then I'm gonna separate it here. Okay, so with one, one hand, I'm gonna come in here, grab this connector, Disconnect him All right, on this one. This one's got a little piece of tape. So I'm gonna grab that little piece of tape, lift it up, and that's a catch. It's gonna lift up. And then from there, the cable pulls up. Now all we have to do is pull this forward, and this comes off. And there's your monitor. Okay, so we'll set this off, this guy off to the side. So if you hear buzzing in the background, that's actually my 3D printers. I'm doing a very large job where I am printing some things for my son and WSU. So I've got all three printers running these things and apparently they're going to be making like 150 of these boxes so yeah all right back to back to the action here not a whole lot of action but i'm going to take this guy and flip him back over i found that um it's just easier for me to work on this thing when it's in this orientation uh, it's just me. I mean, if you're doing this on your own, you can do it however way you want to. But for me, this is the easy way. Um, so there's a couple of connectors that we're going to disconnect here. Uh, we're going to disconnect our speaker cable because we're going to pull our speaker out. So this is our speaker cable. It's here. We're going to dis... It kind of helps if I can actually show you. So bad on me. Be nice if I could have somebody actually shooting what I'm doing and kind of getting up close and personal with it. So here's our speaker connector. It goes right here on the logic board. So we unplug that. Right over here is the um, the power button. It goes here. This is the power supply. So it goes here. So we're going to disconnect this guy here. So just like that. Pretty simple. Uh, now this guy. He runs over here. 
So that's our that's our power wire. Okay, and we're the object of today's video is just to get this this hard drive out and get it replaced. We're gonna come in here with the right size, as that's not the right size. We'll go in here with the right size. We're gonna pull the speaker out. And that's not, somebody's been messing with my tools. Cause I didn't have that. That's, that's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of rude. Somebody been playing in my toy box. So that's not that one. It's not that one. Well, what the heck people? Somebody messed with my tools and didn't put them back in the spots where they belonged. I think we might have to have a conversation with some people. Yeah. I'd almost rather my tools be put in the general area that they go. If they're not going to be put back in the right location. That way I can put them back in the right location and all's good. Hey, anyway, we'll cross that bridge later. So here we go. We got those loose take these out now yesterday we had this thing completely disassembled all the way down to the logic board and we're not going to do that today all right so we're gonna lift this guy up and start pulling him out we'll get our our wire here and then it comes out nice and easy just like that easy peasy nothing easier than that right okay now we can get to our hard drive so our hard drive is held in place by two screws here so we'll go ahead and We'll pull those guys out. Now the nice thing is, is that Apple typically uses pretty much the same size screw in, um, you know, throughout the build. So that's nice. Um, it does take a Torx. So I think this is like a T10 Torx. So we'll pull this side of the carrier off and we'll set him off to the side and then we'll pull this side and then we've got to pull the ATA cable. So that's the power power and um, the data. Okay, so there we go. That's that. Now here is the new stiff. Okay, so we've got, now this is a one terabyte. Uh, Seagate drive. Um, let's see if we can find the spec on it. Uh, I'm looking for the RPM of the drive. And I don't see it right off. I doubt that it's a 10,000 RPM. It's probably a 7550. Um, which most of them are. But SSD is going to be really nice. And really fast. So, get this guy opened up. Here would be our SSD drive. Now notice, it's a lot smaller, okay? So it's not gonna fit in that bracket the same way. So that's what this other thing is for. That's a mounting bracket. Um, and interesting thing to note about this, is that this mounting bracket will actually handle two uh, SSDs. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll get this guy open. Uh, well, you can see kind of what I'm, what I'm doing a little bit easier at least. Okay. So there's that box let's see what we got in here I'm just kind of unboxing with you so hang on <coughs> hang on for the ride here okay um, it looks like okay so in order for this thing to fit I'm going to need to pull these little screws out. Oh, 
It is. Duh. I'm using the wrong stupid... <laughs> really? Well, you guys are getting all the bloopers today, aren't you? Alright, I think it's this one. Yep, that's it. Do do do. Fun times on Mayhem with Markham. <laughs> All right, there's that guy. Okay. Now, one of the important things that I want to show you is that this um, drive tray is going in the same spot that this drive went in. Okay, so what we're looking at here is you can sort of see the see where the connectors are at. You can see this drive bay here, and if we look, we can sort of see kind of where the screws line up, right? Um, also, if you look at where the connector is, it's on the bottom. So we're going to take and we're going to make sure that our SSD is actually sitting somewhere right around there, okay? So that it's in about the same location, all right? So let's get the screws out and we'll go ahead and secure the drive. I'm thinking better of this. I gotta be a better way to do that. I'm not gonna need those for a while. These printers are gonna be printing these sub things for a few weeks i think where did that go okay went up underneath sweet this is just fighting me i don't know what the deal is here this is just this is not not nice um uh, corsair the corsair that did this yeah this is just this is just wrong this is throwing me off Throwing me off of my groove, man. I'm just like, come on, man. I'm trying to get into these little dinky things. I think, I think the thing is, is that my hands are just gotten, you know, too big and whatnot. And I, I know it's a Ziploc. I'm cutting it off. I don't care. Sue me. All right, here we go. So we got. Let's check. Check. I'm gonna test the thread and make sure it's the right thread. Before I go jam it in there. Okay, those appear to be the right thread. All right. Oh, Moses. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna take these and set these off to the side because I doubt we're gonna need those. But, okay, so here we go. We're gonna slide this doohickey in place. We'll get it even up there. We're gonna take this. We're gonna find a screwdriver bit that fits it. We're gonna find a screwdriver bit that fits it. There, we'll use that. Maybe that'll work. Yep, that will work. All right. <sighs> Seriously, that's how this is gonna go. Magnetic screwdriver to the rescue. Let's see if it'll make it in the hole. It will if I can keep from shaking. Uh, my microphone's right there, so you guys can probably hear that really, really well. Now they're all nice and tightened up. Hopefully you guys saw all of that. If you didn't, sorry, you missed it. But hopefully you saw it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the outer holes and put these doohickeys in. Got that filler, all right. Don't want to tighten them too tight. This is just sheet metal. So you don't want to tighten too dog tight. All right, now we're gonna take and put the whole works in. So 
that's going to look like. And this is super lightweight too. So not like you're getting some big, huge weight savings or anything, but there you go. So I'm going to plug our connector in. I'm going to line this guy up here. this guy up here helps put the bracket in right like so I'll take our screws and put our screws in now the reason that you have to take the uh, the uh, speaker out because you can't get to these screws right here with the speaker in. Pretty simple. All right, so we've got that all connected up there. That looks pretty good there. Uh, I'm not sure how you would put a second hard drive in there. So here we go. Let's get uh, this guy up here. Slide that in there just like so. Um, this guy is going to fit right in here. There she is. Alright, I'm going to slide all this up in here. It's supposed to fit down in this groove. Like there's this groove that's right over here that that's supposed to sit in all fancy like. This guy here is going to fit right over here. We'll plug him in. Right to there. Alright, and then we will put our speaker screws back on. Now I'm going to grab our screen and we'll hook our screen back up. We'll put power to it and we'll see what happens. All right, so that laid in just fine where that hard drive was at. So I'm not really worried about that. We will Pull the screen back out just a touch. Hook these two connectors up. Yeah, it looks like it's got an adhesive track there. It's going to go there. This will go against here. We'll make sure that it's all the way back. Tape that up. There and there. Up and over. Up and over. Like I said, this is just going to be temporary. Um, if I were putting this together permanent, then I would have the adhesive strips on, but right now I'm just not worried about it. Uh, we got our power cord here, so it's a nice little custom shaped power cord for the apples. So, get that guy in here. So he should have power now. I'll hook up our keyboard and mouse. The USB in the back. Let's see if she powers up. Oh, I got green lights. So we'll do a command R, which will be a uh, internet reset. Ah, okay. So it says choose network. It's uh, quite snappy now. Uh, I did this before, and it took quite a while uh, to get it to, um, to the stage. So the process is, is that I'm going to format this, um, this hard drive. If it sees it, hopefully it sees it. If it doesn't see it, we've got bigger problems. All right. Okay, so here we are. Here, we've gotten back into the screen. So after all of the loading, it came up and said, okay, here we are. Now looking at the screen here, the screen actually looks okay. So we'll say use English for the main language. 
Alright. Up. Uh, if you look up here, you can see the screen's kind of all messed up in this area. See how it's doing that? It's all messed up. Alright. But, what we're going to do is just um, try to format the drive, install the operating system, and see what we get. Okay, so we'll do with the disk utility first. Okay, here we are. We see our one terabyte Samsung. We're going to, we selected it. So it says select the disk, specify the format and name. Cookie erase. Okay, so we've got the format, which is going to be the Mac OS. The name is going to be um, iMac 27 2012. I'll hit erase. It's going to partition it. There it is, right there. I think it's done. Okay. So now we'll go. We'll quit the disk utility. I'll do a reinstall OS. Ah, so now I need to connect to the internet. So what I'll do is I'll come up here to here, join the network, show the networks, come back over to here. Try again. Continue. Continue. Well, hopefully, it verifies it. Um, agree. Agree. Select the disk and install. Okay. So now it's going to download and install. So it's going to take, holy mackerel. Okay, so this is going to take 30 hours and 23 minutes. So, thirty hours and twelve minutes, ten minutes. Anyway, it's going to take a long time. So I'm going to let this thing sit here and work. Now it says eight hours. I don't know what to think about things now. I'm going to go and take care of dinner for my family, and we'll just let this sit here and run. All right, and uh, it says that it's going to restart automatically. So uh, we'll see what it looks like after it all restarts, um, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, hopefully that'll be that'll be it. So you guys have a great day. Went and got uh, got food for the family. It's always important to take care of the the little messes my awesome daughter all right let's see we'll get you down here get you kind of level with the thing all right here we go all right so let's see where we're at on this thing all right uh, i ain't much on mac it's been uh shoot i don't know it's been 25 years or better since I've uh, really worked with a Mac at any length. Ah, look at here. So we've got register, set up your Mac. All right, so we're in the United States. Sweet. We're in the U.S. Bay. Yes, sir. All right, now it wants me to do my network again. Okay. So I think this is pretty much it, guys. Um, 
it seems to be doing its thing. So I think I'm just gonna end it off here. Um, it looks like it's doing operating system install and all that good stuff, so yeah. So I think we fixed her. Um, so we swapped out the hard drive and got that all working. Um, we did not fix the screen, so that's an issue. Um, so we'll have to come back and uh, do that probably in a later video. But it's pretty snappy. Um, it seems to be up and stable, time will tell. Uh, but really this is just a, a computer that was sitting around that apparently just had a hard drive problem. And um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it like this, even with the bad screen. It's got a big enough screen, it should be fine. And we'll see what happens with it. Um, so yeah, that's it. We'll probably just do, we'll probably just call this like a hard drive change out video. Um, so anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the content. I uh, hope it was informative if you were working on one of these. If you have any questions, please leave the, the questions in the comment section below. Um, and uh, yeah, just make sure you have a great day.